Good morning, good afternoon, good night, good day to everybody. I'm saying this to y'all so I can feel better about myself because I woke up depressed. My baby got beat up today, man. Last night, my mean baby got beat up. Oh! Look at this shit, dog. Uh, cracked the whole side skirt. Scraped the top of the rim. Bent the dough in. I was driving and I'm out to pull into an apartment complex. And you know the apartment complex is if you don't live there, they have the guest entry and they also have a resident entry. So they residents they can go in with a little button or however they get in. The guests gotta sit in the little the little dial box. I was in the middle because I was waiting on somebody to open the gate for me to get in, but I didn't know if it was gonna open the gate for the guests or the, the residents. So I was kinda in the middle of both of them. And it's a big old 2005 steel four F-150, uh, what's it called, high country or something like that, a big steel frame, motherfucker. So, right when I, I look over and see him behind me, and he wasn't moving, so I'm like, okay, cool. The gate open, it's time for me to go. I'm in front of him, he can see I'm in front of him. And I was in the middle, so I guess I see why he thought maybe I was going to the other side, but I was in the middle to see which one. I seen that it opened up, I started looking over, seeing he was sitting still. Right when I turned my head and hit the gas and turned my wheel, I hear he pulling up behind me. And right when I realized, hit the brakes, boom, smack me. People calling me now. I'm gonna call them back. I'm tight, bro. I'm tight, I'm tight, I'm tight, I'm tight, I'm tight. I'm supposed to be in North Carolina this weekend. I was gonna meet up with my guys. If y'all watched the trip I took to Miami, the vlog I made, I met my guys out there in Miami, bro. We've been chopping it up in Stan Lake then since then. I was supposed to go to North Carolina this weekend, kick it with them boys for the new year and the brand new year in and have a couple trading sessions, catch a vibe, like, you know, start the year off good. Um, but then this happens. And it's crazy because it, it seems like God was telling me not to go for some reason. Like, I don't know why, but the day before this happened, I was riding and I got a flat out of nowhere. And I have to have run flats on this car because I don't have any convertibles in the uh, E93 platform. They don't have spare tires in the back because that's where the convertible top goes. And for some reason, I guess for more space or whatever, they just don't put a, a spare tire back there. So you have to have run flats on these. And the one tire I don't have a run flat on is the right um, passenger side in the front. And that went up popping. And then now I had to get a new tire. So that happened. Had to quick fix that real quick, real quick before the Mavis closed. And as soon as I did that, the next day, this shit happens. So for some reason, God was telling me I need to sit my ass down, bro. Link with them boys later on, bro. Like, it's not time for that. You need to just, you need to stay locked in for the new year, get right for the new year, and, and stop playing, bro. I guess, like, just get right, just focus, meditate. I'm about to meditate for three days straight, bro. <laughs> I promise you, like, this is crazy. This is my baby, man. I ain't had this car no longer than what three months four months i got it in september beginning of september <sighs> yeah man i'm tight but on the brighter side man i'm not gonna keep myself gloomy too long um this does give me opportunity to do some more stuff that i was looking to do looking to do anyways um number one thing to fix this like i said i have to go and get a whole new um what's it called the front fender the driver's side front fender so i'll just replace this this is nothing plastic it's cheap i can just replace it and um get it painted body color it's i think the color for this, this car is uh space gray metallic or space gray or something like that space gray metallic so i can get it painted um to fit the body color that'll be nothing but like 150 dollars 200 dollars to get that done i didn't see the parts on you on uh online i also have to get a side skirt right here at the bottom so the side skirt is the piece that goes all the way down and connects to the back side on the back um, uh, fender or like the back frame, the side of the frame of the car. So it's kind of like the fender. But this whole piece is um, all connected. So because this part is chopped off in the front, I gotta get a whole new piece in the back. And it's not messed up for real, it's just, it's knocked down. That's why it's more spacing right there. Um, but I gotta get a whole new one of those. And I was thinking about going ahead and replacing those with the M3 style side skirts anyways before all this even happened. I have the M Sport package, so you can see like in the front bumper, 
front bumper is a little bit different. See that concave right there at the bottom. Also, there's a diffuser in the back. I have different shocks and suspension. I also have the seats for the M Sport and um, and uh, a few other things. But it also comes with these side skirts. So since my side skirt is broken, these are actually cool. They're better than the ones that come on the base model. But I was going to upgrade them to the M3 style ones. So this gives me an opportunity to do that. I just buy those, replace both sides, get them body painted. And that's cool. And then the door is the biggest thing. So I was talking to somebody and I can get the whole thing buffed out. But it's still gonna have those knots in it. Those these holes right there. All these holes are still gonna be in it. And also the door still works well. Like it's not messed up, but there is more of like a click when you open it. So you see it kind of pop more so than it did before. So before when I will open it, I'll show you on the passenger side. It was more smooth. So now there's more of a pop on this side see what I'm saying so it still closes it still opens up the right way and everything um, the spacing is not bad I don't think the spacing is too bad I think it, I did bulge out a little bit but you really can't tell there's not nothing that's noticeable um, and like I said I can just replace the whole door or get it buffed out I'm probably gonna place the whole door I found one online the same color and everything I just take it out uh, take this one off replace the inside of the panel with um this one replace it with whatever they have now i think actually the one i have now what they see i seen online was bare so i just put my frame in there and then um replace it man get it painted the right way uh the cap is actually a little scraped up too but i was gonna replace these caps anyways with the m3 style um caps i'm telling you all the stuff i was gonna do to it which was gonna be a surprise and gonna be like just content for the channel but now because of this i have to uh, tell y'all about it so i mean it is what it is man i ain't gonna cry i ain't gonna cry baby bro i ain't gonna stress about it too much it is what it is man it happens stuff happens life happens luckily god bless me and i'm not hurt real bad my wrist a little sore but it ain't nothing terrible um and I'm cool, man. The car still drives perfect. The steering is still good. Every, like, I drove it back like five to 10 miles back home after it all happened. And was, besides like the, the uh, wheel well scraping the ground, there's nothing wrong. And the only reason that's happened is because there's nothing to connect to. So it's not bad, bro. It's just stuff I got to take care of now. Um, like I said, I'm blessed to not be injured. I'm blessed for it not to be nothing crazy. Like the wheel messed up and the steering messed up, the brakes are or even just like the hood being messed up because I don't have to replace the whole, replace the whole hood or nothing crazy. It wasn't it wasn't that bad. The majority of the reason why it's as bad as it is is because he had a steel frame on his truck. So yeah, man, I'll get it fixed. I'll take care of it. Um, and I guess this is God's way of telling me like, yo, chill a little bit. It's not time to be doing much of other things. You know what I'm saying? Just focus on what you've been focusing on. And when the time comes, you can do whatever you want to do, bro. So we got a whole new year, man. A whole new 365, bro. And I'm, I refuse to go into a whole new year with bad vibes, uh, like feeling gloomy or nothing like that. Like it ain't even that bad, bro. It's, it can be fixed. It's not nothing terrible. It's um, unfortunate that it happened, but it is what it is, man. I'm a problem solver, so I'll figure it out. I'll fix it, and we'll be back running smooth, perfect, fine, and everything will be gravy. So y'all stay tuned, man. Y'all pray for me. Make sure I stay safe. I, I know God got me and everything. I know it's just a, something I got to deal with. You know what I'm saying? So y'all stay tuned in. Y'all subscribe. If y'all haven't subscribed, man, make sure y'all subscribe. Make sure y'all follow me on Instagram, and I'm also posting more of my day trading content on, on Instagram. I actually had a video that's doing pretty good right now. People are eating me up in the comments talking about how my stop losses is, uh, is terrible and stuff. So... Y'all stay tuned, man. Y'all follow me on all socials. And, um, man, I just can't wait to make my next video talking about how I fixed the whole thing. And we riding and we're going 500 miles per hour down the highway or something. You know what I'm saying? But, yeah, man, appreciate y'all for watching this video. Make sure y'all leave a like. Stay tuned for more. It's your boy, J-Rock. It's good vibes only. And we gone, man. Back outside, boys. Told the 70 on the strip. I'm ready to... Cutting the tracks. Bed in the cone. But I make shit.